Hello everybody, Greybeard here, and have you ever thought about installing a camera system into your rig, um, whether it's a dash cam, a rear cam, uh, what have you? Well, hang tight, I'm going to walk you through what uh, improvements I'm making to my rig right now. For any of you that overland and you find your vehicle being full of gear and equipment, uh, makes it really tough to see out that rear view mirror. Well, one of the things that I've done in my rig was installed a rear view camera system. So it's got a front facing camera and then a rear view camera that operates and it replaced the rear view mirror up on the dash and, uh, or on not, not on the dash, but on the windshield there. And uh, it, um, I'm able to see what's behind me. So if you've seen my rig, ultimately I've got an Alta rack on the back of the, the Jeep. Um, I've got a safety cage inside the Jeep um, and it pretty much makes the, the standard rear view mirror, um, in a, you know, it, it just can't be used. So um, I did uh, get a camera system and um, it's it's been great. But I'm super excited because today I got a delivery from our friendly blue uh, truck, you know, the Amazon truck. <laughs> um, he, uh, he dropped this off today. And what this is, is a huge upgrade to um, the system I already have. So the screen is 20% larger. Um, it has GPS tracking. It has um, voice control over the camera system. It's got a front-facing camera that's 4K, a rear-facing camera. Um, one of the things that I didn't like about my current system is that at night, the headlights behind me would wash that, that system out. It was really hard to tell what was going on. This system has a much better review on it. Um, for that. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to get it installed and uh, give it a test. And of course, I'll let you know um, how that works and probably shoot some video of so you can see it um, and how it works. But this is fantastic. It's 4K um, front facing camera, rear facing camera works all the time. Um, it has a function where you can leave it on and it records uh, 24 hours a day on a loop. Um, if you wanted to for like security reasons um, but uh, it has a G sensor so if there is an accident it locks that film um, on the uh, SD card so that you can actually review what happened um, the GPS is nice because it tells you what direction you were heading what road you were on um, you know your speed all that stuff so um, you know, if you're not at fault, that's fantastic. If you're doing something stupid, well, you know, then it's gonna, it's gonna tell, you know, that too. So, but, uh, but anyhow, I'm super excited. We'll, uh, jump out to the Jeep and get this, uh, get this installed. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, basically replacing the, the one that I've got in there now. Um, and then we'll, uh, take her for a test run. So hang on and I'll be right back in like, two seconds. Real quick before we jump out to the Jeep though, I, I figured I'd take a second here to open this up and show you what all's included in the box here and how it's packaged and all that. So it's nice, pretty heavy duty box that it comes in. Um, how to redeem a free accessory. So looks like I could get a gift card, a, an SD card, a 128 gigabyte SD card, um, an extension cable, or a charger um, if I want for doing a review. All right, so this looks like it would be the camera or the lens itself. Yep, so this, as you see, it's got a got a camera here um, that faces front, and then this just literally goes over the existing um, the existing rear view mirror. Uh, it's got power in the GPS. The uh, SD card goes in there. 
That's a plug for the AV for the uh, camera in the back. So that would be the rear camera, the power cord, the GPS unit, instructions, and these rubber straps for um, holding that up onto the existing rear view mirror. Um, and this nice little plastic tool for popping out um, the trim and what have you to run these wires. So everything's here that we need to uh, put it in. Um, now it's just a matter of jumping out to the Jeep and making that happen. So now just hang on for a few seconds and I'll be right with you. All right, so here I am out in the rig and uh, as you can see, looking out that back window back there, uh, can't see anything. Um, that Alta rack and spare tire uh, take up the, the entire view there. So there's nothing to be seen and hence the reason that I need the uh, rear view camera. Um, and it, uh, it replaces the rear view mirror uh, factory uh, position. So I'll show you how it works once I get it all installed. It is a chilly 21 degrees out here today, but that is the factory rear view mirror. And just so you can see the, the difference in size, this is gonna go right up there and uh, replace that, all right? So that right there is where the camera is gonna go. It'll actually mount up tight there and it's adjustable up and down, but I've got to use both hands to get that attached up there and then as you can see this wire here it connects to the cable that goes all the way up to the monitor but uh, I just wanted to show you how that looked So all the wires are plugged in. I've got them routed up out of the way or in the process of doing so. Hey, look at me in the mirror there, peace. Um, the GPS sensor, that's going to stick right up here. Tuck that up out of the way. And then the wires I'm routing down, the camera wire to the back, the wire that plugs in will go down the uh, A pillar there, down out of sight. So, so far so good. And there's the rear view mirror. It, uh, I don't know if you can see up here. It'll tell me how fast I'm going, time, date, etc. And you see that little red light flash in the upper left corner. So it's constantly recording front and rear. So there's the front view, the rear view, front view, rear view. So, pretty fantastic. I'm excited to uh, take it out and see how the GPS works. The GPS is mounted right up there on the windshield. So, but that's it. And now I can see clearly behind me, it's fantastic. Here's another cool feature about this rear view mirror camera setup. Um, it's voice controlled. So you can tell it, show front camera. Okay. Show both cameras. Okay. Show rear camera. Okay. Etc. So you can actually have it save video and snap a picture and, and all those things too. So really kind of feature filled. So one of the things I did not hook up on this particular rear view camera 
is there is a wire that will allow the parking uh, guidelines. And I didn't do that because as you see right down here, I've got it on that camera. So I just didn't see a need to have two of them uh, as far as the guide thing goes. So it is there, it's available for you to hook up. Simple one wire into the reverse circuit and it'll appear on the screen as well. So you can see how dark it is outside. And then look at this. Bam. You can see nice and clear. How dark it is. Okay, so it's nighttime. As you can see, it's uh, 712. And uh, this is the split screen. So this is the front the back camera um, obviously I can switch it again back camera front camera split screen but I wanted you to be able to see how both cameras um, work here at night and it uh, I'm in a parking lot so um, no traffic around me or anything like that but I wanted you to be able to see how this thing works As you can see, it picks up the speed. So it's super clear and it's very, uh, very good. I'm very pleased with it. 